So hello, hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a watershed using swap model. This is much more easier than the other techniques. Let's go to the website. Just type arc swap. This is a website from which we can uh, download the swap model. You can use. Uh, your, we, we might be using different types of ArcGIS many different versions you can download according to this uh, there are uh, around five versions available from 10.0 to 10.4 versions from here we have to download the arc, arc swap if you click here the download will start process will be automatically starting after that we need to just install it after installing arc swap we need to enable the arc swap toolbox this is the arc swap from here, from here we are going to generate our watershed go to swap project setup go to new give no from here select your uh, folder where you have to save this arc swap I'm going to select this arc swap which I have already created just give OK. The process will be going on. The process setup is done. From here, the next step will be watershed delineation. We need to go to automatic watershed delineation. From there, we have to just input our temp data. So, this is my temp data. So I have uh, inputted my time data into the arc swap. From there, we have to uh, set our projection. As you can see, it has al already taken up uh, taken up my zones. From here, we have to select in which uh, in which method or which units we should be using. It's based on your uh, uh, your understanding and your need. I am going with meters. So from here, the next step will be creating flow direction and accumulation using this swap model. This may take a few minutes in processing. Uh, it's now calculating the flow direction and accumulation. This axe swap is a much more easier way to find out the uh, watershed. It's more uh, time saving process. takes time based on the area we have taken for the study if you are inputting a large larger dam if i type it may take a uh, larger time to process it so the end of dam grid process pre-processing is over the next step will be uh, calculating and creating streams and outlets This process is finished. Creation of stream and outlet is being done. I'm just minimizing it. As you can see, these are my streams. From from here, I need to select my study area. That is my watershed. So this is a watershed. This one might be a watershed. For that, we need to go to the tool. From there, we have to. Uh, add or manually edit it. I'm just going to add one point here right now. So I'm going to add my point here. I just give a right click, stop editing. Yes, I need to save my edits. From there, go to the tool. Uh, the next step will be selecting a point. So this is my point. I have created this. I'm just selecting it. OK and uh, uh, click the whole watershed. This is a process to uh, delineate. This is a process to delineate our watershed. So from here we have we have selected the point. This is for delineation. This might take a few minutes to get processed. 
so this process might be taking some more time for calculating the watershed this may normally take 2 to 3 minutes as you can see the watershed definition is being done I'm just minimizing it so this is my watershed as you can see I am specified I specified a separate point from there the watershed has been created so this is my watershed the next step will be calculating the pass surfacing parameters from from this watershed there will be a individual surfacing from where you will be finding out the elevations and streams for that we need to click this calculation subbasin parameter from that you will be getting some additional information about the subbasins so as you can see there are around 29 outlets and number of uh, subbasins are 29 System. As you can see, these are the linking points between the streams. So my watershed has been created. So it's just exporting. As you can see, the subbasin parameter calculation has been done successfully. So this is being exported into GBD. So this has been calculated. So these are my results. So money points, outlets, reach. So I'm going to take out my dam data here. This is my watershed. This is my watershed with this uh, sub sub watersheds, and this is my basin. So this is one of the easiest way to find out the find out or uh, uh, discover our uh, watershed. Thank you for watching my video. Keep supporting.